Hello everyone, it's your favorite FGC VTuber coming at you with uh, the latest controversy. Well, it was not even a controversy, we already covered it. Feel free to check out my video on fighting games are harder than the genres and the other video on Dragon Ball Fighters. Not being a fighting game? Whatever, you guys want my time. But anyways, this is, yeah, because it's a party game, told you this shit don't work. So, what's happening is apparently they had an official DB, well, not official, but there was a DB Tenkaichi 4 tournament. And there was a lot of outbursts from it, and I just liked it right now, this bookmark. And here you guys can see the clip. Yeah, if you've seen TNES, something, okay, they just move around. I have a lot of questions about Dragon Ball Fudo Gaichi Gaichi Bean, because this shit was boring to watch. Let's see, they're just kind of zipping around. And he just, because he's going up and down. Yeah, no, I actually did personally notice, if you're right above the opponent, it's kind of like, not built for that in the sense. He's just screeching. He's just... Are they trolling? Is this legit? Oh my my thing is like, it doesn't look like it's legit to a degree, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's futile, bro. It's futile, brother. Who has a health lead, though? That's where I'm at. Kari is trolling hard as Okay, he's you. just trolling him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just seems more funny than anything. Are they really taking this? I feel like this might be a bit over bloated, if I'm being honest. But I mean, there's probably more. And my whole thing is if there's more clips that show that maybe there's more stupid shit like this instead of just the up and down. Huh. Okay, that was just more funny and trolling. Huh? But it does kind of show there's a glaring flaw, at least with one of the ways it's done. See? These anime arena fighters have never been competitive as much as people want to to cope they are not real i mean yeah that I, we've kind of already discussed that but I'll go, we, i've already said it on in the last video dragon ball fighters is definitely the most competitive of all the arena fighters and it has like, an impressive amount of defensive death like to, to you really can't knock it for that if i'm being quite honest like yeah it's is it a fighting game no but to sit here and say it doesn't have some chops would be a huge misunderstatement like it's definitely got some death the biggest thing in my opinion i think that would lack to get it any respect is it doesn't really have any execution you know but that's side the point again bro why y'all trying to make this <clears throat> I, I DQ as much as I love the game, it doesn't really just work. Better. Like, yeah, everybody's just probably one of the most annoying strategies I ever fought against. Oh, so it's an actual strategy then. Tech Aichi 2 is actually better. Fun fact, this is boring to watch. Yeah, I'll get into that. Like I said, Sagamo, they need to put restrictions on first to one up to grand. Sparking Zero isn't meant to be. In a lot of senses, yeah. But it, again, I'm not going to reiterate what I said before. It's got an impressive amount of death. And let's see if we can watch the view post engagements. Yes. Folks, and it's the sparking zero with this current kind of meta is kind of hard to take serious at the moment. Over reliance of super counter vanish and these chi strats are too strong. Yeah, yeah, I think meta. Well, I, uh, that's not a meta stuff. I, I think even the core thing, yeah, it's like, yeah. You, you, bro, this game is not boring. This is funny. Shit. I mean, yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah, no, like that was definitely funny because I'm like, wait, what was he talking about? Like, I was expecting something like whatever, but if that is something you can do, then that can get boring. I'm not denying that, right? But at that point, that would be something to keep a health lead. And let's be real, you're definitely a bitch if you do that, you know. But at that point, that's the kind of thing where, like, if the... Because in the FGC weather mentality, if it's allowed, we'll fucking rock it. The game by default shouldn't be able to allow... Like, if you try to do any type of cheese or strat in other fighting games, there is counterplay to that. If there isn't a counterplay to your cheese strat, then that means your game just isn't competitive. It's something that the developer should have the foresight for, you know? We shouldn't have rules that the community should come up with to try to band-aid patch that. The only time that should be viable is for, like, banning characters. I think that's the only time. But if there's something inherently wrong with the game... And the people have to play around that in a sense. The game, to a degree, definitely isn't competitive. Because there are instances where, like, okay, whatever, huge oversight, whatever. Like, I mean, like, good example, you can play NBC3, you just, oh, don't do, like, one touch of death combos. No said, you know, and that's, like, a super hard problem to fix. Super easy, just be like, oh, just, if they hit the ground, combo's over, you know? But generally, like I said, it should be only one thing. It shouldn't be like, okay, don't do this, this is, then that's too much crap to keep track, keep track of, right? Oh, this character's banned, no one touch of death. All right, then outside of that, put everything that's in there, fucking rock that shit. You know? I strongly believe we never go comp in any substantial way, and that's fine. The system just doesn't seem to be... No, I mean, it really isn't. It really isn't. And on top of that, if you look at how... I've seen a great video that's talking about Budokai Tenkaichi 1 to 2, and then from 3, how, like... 2 literally was the peak of the competitive format for Tenkaichi and explains why it's the most played. And also, as someone who played it casually, I enjoy Tenkaichi 2 the most. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I agree. If people are playing tournaments for this game, more power to them. But I still staunchly believe it's simply not how this game was meant to be played. No, I agree. I, I don't think it was meant to be played in a competitive sense, but I definitely think it's played to be like like you're, you're meant to 
be like my biggest thing about me why I like Budokai Tagechi is that you are meant to feel like a Dragon Ball, and I think it does a decent job about that. And the thing about Dragon Ball is it actually is really really good for fight choreography. To sit here and say that it wouldn't have really good fight mechanics would be a bit of an understatement, right? With Naruto, it wasn't as much of the focus. So I think it's an arena fighter. It inherently just doesn't do good as Dragon Ball, right? They're too focused on Jutsu. And in here, yeah, the Hamid Blood, like, there's still meta and death to it. Whereas in Naruto, not, not really. I mean, heck, they only had a clash system in fucking Ultimate Ninja. And, and like, what, three or something? It's not even in Ultimate Ninja Storm. For whatever reason, you just, you just collide and that's it. Uh, see, people who want a competitive scene that aren't aware the campaign exists when it's a competitive. It's the most degenerate form to play a parent. It happened for Four Honor. It'll happen. You know, that's a very good point. I didn't even realize that, actually. That's part of the reason why Four Honor isn't competitive. I, I think that is true to the degree. Have, the fact that you do kind of have a campaign is an indicator of how competitive see how competitively serious they take i mean good example there's a reason fighting games the reason they don't have as much content as other ones for the longest time and i just still think it is like an inherent problem and why they struggle to get people in is they are way too focused on balancing and all the mechanics and be like fuck it's story i mean dude i don't know it's the story it's just a goddamn visual novel i think that is an indicator for sure that's why to me i the fact that the campaign was slacking to me was an indicator that the game itself for fighting is good like in my opinion if you want to play the most like something that's not a full fighting game but has some depth to it out dragon ball fighters is the number one option i don't think i can think of another maybe to a degree naruto i think naruto's a very very good balance if i'm being quite honest it's not branded boring piece of shit whatever but it's fairly easy and there's at least some levels to get up like maybe three levels to get up there then you could try to squeeze a bit more if you really get bored but like within like a one through three you can basically master the game and then in a year there's really nothing left for you to discover and that's really pushing in mind you if you're playing you know whatever because even drag uh Nartuo fans have really you know yeah that's the whole thing and plus on top of this even better Naruto fighting game if i'm being honest go check out the one on the wii like that's a fucking fighting game bro and i, I will die on that fucking hill that game is good but for casual game for sure yeah i think i think dragon ball to kaichi exists in a realm between casual and hardcore if i'm being honest that that's really where it is because as someone who's a hardcore fan, i really enjoy what it does offer like it's i'll say this much like, someone i get bored of a lot of shit i got bored because the campaign the, the cpu can for so much but no nah, this game like man it, it can keep you dude it, it is it is a fucking game bro you know i i, I and i think we need more games like budokai tenkaichi and they could push the envelope for competitive or at least people try to get people to try to get into fighting games i mean as we all know oh, i'm an indie developer and i'm definitely trying to do the hard thing of have something something competitive while also having content you know and outside of sf6 like sf6 world tour is great i personally love it but i think it's definitely hit or miss for some people you know and it could have done a, definitely a better job y'all thought this was going to be a serious game because it's party i feel like when people call it a party game i think that's such a dis disdemeanor because to a degree it can be 100 i mean dude heck you can play mbc and bb tag they're like the party game of the SEC, right but dragon ball was definitely it's more designed for 1v1 than say smash if it was to me a party game like you can only be ever called a party game if you have a lot of buck wild set items and it's more than two people dragon ball just to me like it can be for sure you could just play yamcha this and that but the other elements for, for, for me it's like nah you can you can take it serious you know to me just simply saying it's too lazy i think we've used it too much i think for smash it's 100 percent viable naruto definitely doesn't feel like a party game if i'm being honest like it's definitely like an, and again you can totally play like a party game but there are other games that do a better job like if you wanted a party game you'd go play smash you'd get play playstation uh, smash ripoff or you'd get play street fighter cross tekken for players those are party games you know what i'm saying to me the reason i don't like the term party game is not just because i think it's an easy way to dismiss and it makes sense like smash obviously is a party game, right but it's the fact that y'all don't know what a real party game is that's why it's a party game enthusiast y'all don't know what it takes to rock a party that's where i'm at like whoa, 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 whoa hold up sir you don't even know also party games have a lot of randomness inherently to them that's the other key note about them i mean, I mean obviously like goddamn uh mario party that's like the party game right but it's a it's a party fighter party fighting right but like I said, Nathan do some level up. Like, like I said, that's just me. Like you look at Naruto, like, is it really a party fighter? Eh, not really. I mean, it, it, again, it can be if, if people know how to play it. But to me, a party game inherently means you can hop in and play. There's not really much to learn. I think out of all of them, the hardest one is actually the PlayStation one. Because the fact that it has four buttons, I think. Yeah, the, having more buttons actually, I hate when people say, oh, more buttons mean more hard. It is. It, it actually objectively is, dog. Don't mess me with that shit. But with that said, I think I'm dragging a bit too long, and that's what the whole uh, controversy on this thing is. I would personally like to see more thing, gameplay, whatever. I mean, I, mean, I like that we actually have final gameplay here. Run that off of this. Oh, it's cool. it's cool. Ooh! Oh, come on, that's sick. You can't even hate that. That's actually sick. That's sick. That's what I'm talking about! That's all you need to know! 
way. There's no way. There's no way he clutches way. this. I don't think maybe the defensive options are too strong. Also, why is he using it's the no squishy? Way. It's no way. Oh, it's that no is cooked. Way. Oh, that is. Oh my God. It's no way. It's no that is so dead. Okay, I see what he did. So, by you, if you guys want an explanation, I can actually. So, see, either he's hitting. He did a parry, right? He's parrying. No way. He's stuck. Oh, he actually hit this. No way. Yeah, he. No. Huh, either, okay, so either he hit confirm that, but it seems like they're blocking. But the other thing is, if you got a trick I learned early on, is if you make them deflect and then throw a super, their mid-deflect animation, and they cannot block the next one. As to why this hit, I don't exactly know. I don't know if that's the key for either, it looks like she's blocking. How? How? Like, I would actually like to know. Maybe there's, like, something I'm missing. By the way, again, there's more stuff I've seen in videos that describe uh, that there's, like, like uh, uh, the first frame you can actually activate and if you're like cl the closer you are some are like literally near instant and maybe they couldn't reactivate the uh the block oh I'll, I'll just, uh, some are basically like command grabs and i think it's the fact that they were stuck so i don't know what the super that one is if it's a command grab or not but regardless, i mean at the end of the day it's kind of sick uh, it'll run its course i think after a year it'll be like kind of the same reason like to think about it mortal kombat's like the weakest fighting game people get better that shit within a year though to be fair it's because it's got a super strong casual audience and mortal kombat itself just doesn't, doesn't facilitate super competitive gameplay so <laughs> to me i just exist to facilitate i don't mind it we facilitate uh, facilitate it and people will eventually want to hop onto another scene like i actually know like a couple of to play i mean from all over the scene from other fighters and stuff that want to hop into fighting games right because i like oh i kind of pushed the limits of what this game can do and i'm kind of thirsty to see more right and granted it's still going to be very hard for the beginning but you could definitely carry over a lot of knowledge once you get to the mid level from what you learn from even Naruto or Dragon Ball, like there are elements you can definitely carry over. Because at the end of the day, you still have to take put in the effort and mental strain to not go from button mashing to playing with a purpose. And that's always even something from like Souls players. And then from there, playing around a meta, kind of playing, reading. You, you know, you're now playing the game and then you're pushing the envelope. But the problem is the game doesn't let you push further. So the problem is when you first hop into a fighting game, it's start from the start again. Except getting from the start to the mid is very fucking hard for fighting games, you know. But that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, just like I said, whatever the hell was going on here. And uh, yeah, there you go. Remember, every day is great when you're chibi.